we made it. This is the golden stop, the royal discipline. We made it to the stop business model. And here it's where we really have to take all of our innovation and creativity out because it's about creating that system that will make us keep on going, that will make us become sustainable. This is actually a topic where sustainability comes in, but maybe not the definition or the meaning of sustainability that you're used to. I define sustainability as the ability to be able to sustain, right? Just like the word says, we need to be able to maintain and sustain our abilities, which means we have to create the necessary inflow so that we can keep on going, that we can keep on producing the products and services that we are creating out of this idea that we had, right? So this sounds very easy, of course, but is a very complex task at hand. And many, many um, startups need quite a long time to find the right business model that fits for them. When I say the right business model, you might be thinking, well, how many are out there? Well, there is actually a, quite a good collection of actually 55 different business models that we can learn from that uh, the University of St. Gallen has collected and is offering us the St. Gallen business model navigator. So this is definitely something you should take a look at to be able to inspire yourself of what possibilities are out there. And of course, all the different combination between those models that have been found so far out there on the market. So here are our questions you can't escape. Very clearly, how does your economic model work? And I would like to inspire you to look at more than just monetary income, because we have different kinds of currencies that are actually valuable and sustainability and momentum of an initiative can also happen because of data, because of other types of payments. So keep your mind open here to be as innovative and creative as possible. The second question is about the adaptability of your model. Does this economic model that you have created for your venture also work in other contexts? under different kind of conditions, legal conditions in other countries. Very important topic that will limit you to a certain region, um, a certain legal framework that you can operate in or allow you to expand. There is no evaluation or there is no good or bad here. It is just one of the factors that we have to take into account when we are in the process of creating a business model for our venture. The third question is all about the competition. How long will you be able to persevere against your competition? Do you have the resources and the power to sustain yourself? Even when your competition is you know, hitting you really hard, is trying to capture the market from you, do you have a, a system in place that allows you uh, to stay operational? Very interesting questions. Not an easy way to answer, find answers for, of course, but crucial for anyone who is asking you those questions.